Hey YouTubers, what's up? Welcome to Thai Auto News. Today I'll be test driving the Mitsubishi Triton 4-wheel drive athlete, which is the top version of the Mitsubishi pickup in Thailand. But uh, before we watch the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of our latest reviews and it's gonna help our channel grow a lot. Thanks! Alrighty, to start off, uh, this one comes with the athlete packaging, which means uh, we get a really nice front grille. This black garnish in front is from the athlete package and really makes this Triton stand out a lot when it's on the road. Nice looking by LED headlights up front, and the daytime running light is also LED. So, uh, this is the front camera, but over here we also have the radar for the intelligent safety system. Uh, the car won't uh, come to a complete stop, but there will be warning, audible warning plus a braking function to warn you if there's a chance of a collision ahead. Okay, so the black styling still continues at the side. You get glossy black mirror caps and the wheels, 18-inch alloys, also in black. And wearing 265-60 R18 uh, Bridgestone Dueler tires. Okay, so uh, coming to the side, you get nice looking uh, side steps as well and of course the uh, Triton Athlete sticker so this is very uh, popular uh, design these days with, with the side sticker towards the back and this one looks pretty aggressive I think over here also from the Athlete package is the sports bar looks very very uh, sporty as well <laughs> looks nice actually okay so uh, some more glossy black styling over here this is the rear camera this one's, this one's got the 360 degree camera, so cameras everywhere. And nice thing is that when you open it up, wow, they got some, uh, sm two small hydraulic struts over here, so makes it uh, really easy to open and to close. Yeah, it's very light as well, so thumbs up for that. So uh, we get the uh, liners also for the front athlete. Although, uh, yeah, there, there are some places you can put uh, stuff on, but maybe a round cup holder would be nice. Uh, doesn't have it. Here are some hooks, one, two, three, four. So there are four uh, hooking points at the back. And some partition area, if you have a, you want to make a partition, you can also put it over there. Okay, so down here, I've still got some more glossy black uh, styling for the we are bumper as well as these are the uh, sensors and uh, steps nice two steps over here quite sturdy easy to get in up and down of the uh, Python whoops mm. okay, let's uh, check out the rear seat comfort and space well, uh, the front seats are at my uh, driving position, but as you can see, uh, not much leg room, just a, a little bit. Headroom, this much, which is okay, you know, it's, it's not bad. Okay, so there's one feature that's really cool for the rear seat passengers. Okay, check out the air conditioner for the rear. That's the controls. And then the air comes out from this vent. And you can adjust the, the wind direction by moving these flaps, two on each side. Very unique. This is the first time I, I see something like this, so... Like, <laughs> very strange. I like the, uh, the backrest. Uh, it's quite soft at the back, so... Nice feel over here. Check out the armrest. Got two cup holders over here. And uh, down here, we've got some storage space, plus two more USB ports. The backrest can be folded to give you access to the tools. So uh, cleverly hidden behind the back seat, but all this mechanism just for uh, fuel equipment. 
Okay, so let's check out the interior of the Mitsubishi Triton Athlete. Uh, this top version comes with a two-tone uh, upholstery, which looks really, really nice. Uh, look, makes it look more upmarket. We got a leather wrapped steering wheel, but uh, there's a lack of soft touch materials in the car, uh, in, the, in, the, in the console. Still pretty hard. Only very small area of soft touch padding just over here. The rest is all still uh, very plasticky. Except center uh, tunnel, this is uh, upholstered, which yeah makes it feel nice when your bare leg is touching it, feels natural. And we got some silver uh, garnishing. The interior looks very futuristic, kind of modern. I like this uh, trim here as well. Touch it, feels like Audi a bit, you know. <laughs> this nice trim. So uh, up here we have a seven inch touch screen, which is quite nice to use, although it's not so big, considering the Ford Ranger has a 12 inch. Uh, tablet style, but this is okay. Uh, it's functional, although I think the uh, rear view camera is not too high quality, it's just average in terms of resolution. So uh, below that, you get controls for the aircon and some buttons. So this is uh, the wireless charger over here, got 12 volt outlet, uh, USB port, as well as a HDMI port. So this is probably for watching uh, movies. Very small storage area here. Uh, gear shift uh, lever comes with the plus minus, and this is a step, uh, a ladder type uh, shift gate. So this plus minus over there. The Mitsubishi Triton comes with a quite sophisticated four x four system. This one comes with uh, two high, four high, as well as four high lock transfer and four low lock transfer, plus. Hill descent control, hill start assist, as well as an off-road mode to control the engine torque while doing off-road driving. We still have a mechanical handbrake with a nice stitching over here, two cup holders, and a decent sized uh, storage bin over here with uh, one more 12 volt outlet inside. So one there, one there, 12 volt. But, the, <laughs> ooh! The closing mechanism is kind of uh, noisy, so maybe should be improved over here. Okay, so for the athlete package, also comes with uh, these nice floor mats. Up here, the steering wheel. We got a leather wrapped steering wheel with uh, red stitching, which looks pretty nice with some chrome trim and a lot of buttons over here. So uh, in terms of functionality, it's okay. We also have uh, shift paddles which is uh, not offered in every uh, top pickup truck in Thailand. You know, uh, you check out the Ford Ranger or the Ford Everest, no shift paddles, but this one comes with shift paddles. The instrument panel is uh, not fully digital, just a small uh, screen in, in the middle, uh, but uh, it's fine, uh, shows all the information you need to know. Okay, so uh, let's check out the engine com uh, compartment. Hey, no, no, <laughs> this is the fuel. Where's the engine open? Oh yeah, there. So no hydraulic in front. Okay, so uh, this is a four-cylinder Dock 16 valve Myvik VG turbo. That, so that's a variable geometry turbocharger with intercooler with a displacement of 2,442 cc, capable of pumping out a total of 181 horsepower at 3,500 rpm and 430 newton meters of torque at 2,500 RPM, which is actually uh, on the lower side in the pickup segment because uh, most of the competitors have like 200 horsepower or 190 horsepower engines. Okay, so, uh, and good thing is that it's not too heavy, this uh, engine compartment lid. Unlike some, uh, some other brand, that could be very heavy, but this is nice, okay, not too heavy. In terms of performance, the Mitsubishi Triton 
four-wheel drive is powered by a 2.4 liter Maybach engine capable of uh, producing 181 horsepower at 3,500 RPM and 430 newton meters of torque at uh, 2,500 RPM. Well, as mentioned, this is not the highest in the market. Of course, uh, the Ford Ranger and the Toyota Revo both has got above 200 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque, and while well, the Isuzu also get uh, 190 horsepower just like the Nissan Navara but you know what the Mitsubishi comes with a really nice four-wheel drive system well uh, this uh, transfer case selector over here allows you to use a uh, two-wheel drive so uh, in two-wheel drive 100% of the engine power is uh, transmitted to the rear wheels then you have the regular uh, four high so uh, in 4 high, uh, it's okay for driving on highways and perhaps uh, wet roads with the uh, engine power uh, being divided between the front and rear uh, in two levels. First is uh, 40 to 60, that's for regular highway driving on dry roads. But uh, if you're driving on wet roads, uh, it changes to 50-50. And that's not all. Then you have a uh, four-wheel drive high with lock transfer. So this is good for driving on gravel roads. All right. And then you have also a four-wheel drive low uh, with lock transfer. For this is for the tough off-roading. But that's not all. You also have a drive uh, off-road button over here, which allows you to choose between uh, mud or sand okay so uh, now I'm, I'm in four high but you know what I'm we're on gravel road so I want to pick four high lock transfer but that's not all you know uh, we have a drive mode that we can choose between gravel, mud snow, or sand. So now we're on gravel road, so let's pick gravel. Quite sophisticated system. So usually they pick up trucks, they'll come just with normal four high, four low, but this one comes with a off-road mode selector as well. So a bit extra from Mitsubishi over here. Allows you to fine tune the power and torque distribution from the engine to the all four wheels uh, according to the surface you're driving on. The, the Triton comes with a front double wishbone and rear leaf spring suspension. Uh, you have stabilizer in front but not at the rear. And in general, I think uh, it's quite comfortable for a pickup with rear leaf spring. I think uh, Mitsubishi has done uh, some work with the ride comfort of the Triton but you know it's still a little bit bouncy due to the lead string at the rear so still feels a lot of like pickup not not really a uh, passenger car like comfort for example like the Ford Ranger uh, I think the Nissan Navara has got also very good uh, ride comfort a little bit better than this this one but uh, in at low speeds yeah the shocks and vibrations are you know absorb uh, efficiently and you can feel that it's a bit comfortable at low speeds but yeah if, if you go a bit harder on on the road or off-roading you can feel a little bit of uh, jumpiness from the rear lead spring but in general it's quite yeah quite comfortable okay so while the engine might not be the highlight of the Triton uh, this one comes with a lot of safety features, intelligent safety features, uh, starting off with the front collision mitigation system, uh, which provides uh, both audible warning as well as, uh, as, well as slight braking, but not uh, full braking yet. Uh, then you've got a uh, blind spot with uh, lane change warning, uh, automatic high beam. You also have a rear cross traffic alert as well as a 
hill descent control, uh, hill start assist, and uh, of course the regular uh, vehicle stability control as well as traction control. So pretty uh, fully equipped in terms of intelligent safety in the Triton Athlete. Okay, so now we're back on uh, smoother country roads. And uh, although the suspension, yeah, the rear is a little bit bouncy, reminds you that this is a tough 4x4 pickup. I still like the comfort level in the Triton Athlete, especially the seats, you know, the material and the comfort from the seats is uh, pretty nice. Actually, I enjoy being in the Triton and uh, the driver's seat comes with 8-way adjustable power adjustment but only for the driver the front passenger adjustment is manual so a little bit cost cutting there you don't get both power seats but yeah they're nice and supportive and nice and cushy as well the backrest I like this backrest nice and soft Okay, so how do you like our review on the Mitsubishi Triton four-wheel drive athlete? Well, don't forget to leave a comment, but for me, I think uh, it's a bit pricey at uh, 1.196 million baht, but it com also comes with all the extra features that uh, you will enjoy. But uh, for those who don't want all these extras, you can go for the lower two-wheel drive model, which is priced at just one point. 0.05 million baht, so that's a big savings, almost 200,000 baht if you don't want all the advanced features. Well, that wraps up our review of the Triton Athlete today. Uh, if you like the review, the video, don't forget to consider supporting our channel by subscribing as well as pressing the bell icon to be notified when we have uh, new car reviews from Thailand. Well, uh, until we meet again, bye.